Kevin Huddleston in it, split in to the right side. Cyrus Hancock on the right wing. Friendly rolls to the right. Throws, complete to Hancock, who's belted at the 24. Friendly's pass to Hancock is complete. Johnny Stites with the hit. The ball at the 25, fourth down. Actually, fourth down and very close, fourth and one. Well, now they're going to mark it at the 24. Okay, now, see, they have to get it to the 15, so it is fourth down and nine. Didn't think it was that big of a pickup, and the Blue Devils are going for it on fourth and nine. Two wideouts. Bueller to the right. Brindley fakes. Now, he, now he's going to throw incomplete. Short hops Bueller, who is in some traffic. And that's will turn out to be a first down for the Cavaliers as Lebanon comes up short on fourth down. So the Cookville offense takes the field, and they are banged up. Scheduled open at quarterback is number 12, Jim Smith. Fullback, number 23, Jabbar Jordan, and a tailback, number 35, Brian Steele. Fullback, the regular fullback, Maitland Deathrow, is out with a knee injury, and the tailback, Daniel Ivey, has a separated shoulder. First and 10 Cavaliers pitch. It's going to be a throw from Jordan. It's long. It's incomplete. Just off the hands of the intended receiver, Kevin Huddleston on the coverage. If I can get a number there. Intended for Mike Farrell. So Mike Farrell just missing a great catch. Getting back to the Cavalier offense. The flankers, number 83, Jason Cantrell. Mike Farrell, the split end, who just missed on that catch. The tight end is number 33, Johnny Stites. Draw play goes nowhere. Jody Ambrewster right there. I think that was Jordan on the carry. The ball at the 24. That'll bring up a third down and nine and a half. The interior front for the Cavaliers. The tackles are Mark Grimes and Brian Romero. The guards are Chris McClung and Matt Barney, and the center is Bo Lillard. Jason Cantrell comes wide to the left. Should be Farrell, flank to the right. Quick drop, pass complete to Cantrell, and he is dropped immediately. Jonathan Haas there, along with Cyrus Hancock. The ball fell loose, but it's an in, but it, uh, the runner was down. It's a complete pass out to the 26. It'll bring up a fourth down and eight. So Lebanon holds on his first defensive possession, and they will force the punt. Mike Koff will be in punt formation for the Cavaliers. Back deep for Lebanon will be Sonny Warmath and Clay Bueller. Bueller quickly in for Hancock at the last second. Snap is away. A high and very short kick. This will just barely get a first down. Would have gotten one for Cookville. And it's batted at the 41. Where Lebanon will take over in excellent field position. Punt not good for about 15 yards. So Lebanon with its second offensive possession. Jim Brindley hustling from the bench with the play. Lebanon took the opening kickoff, marched about 40 yards downfield, came up short on a fourth and nine. Now start with first and 10 at the Cavalier 41. Kevin Huddleston split to the left. Crutchfield and Haas in the eye formation behind Brindley. Crutchfield straight ahead. Bulls his way to the 36. Tackle made by Bo Lillard. They'll mark it inside the 37. Second down and five and a half. Bueller and Hancock, or I'm sorry, Stewart come in for Hancock and Huddleston. Bueller goes wide to the left. Pitch, Jonathan Haas. Stuffed at the 36. 
Credit that one to Jamie Walker. Mark it at the 36. That'll bring up third down and five, so no gain as Hancock comes in with a play. Stewart comes out. Bueller goes wide right as the Cavaliers adjust their defense. Friendly, short drop, going for Bueller on that timing pattern again, and it's incomplete. Johnny Stites on the coverage, and he had a better shot at the interception than Bueller did at the reception. So that'll bring up fourth and five. I'll check the cover, man. Jabbar Jordan, number 23 on the coverage, not Stites, number 33, who's a linebacker. So third down, or I'm sorry, fourth down and five. With 3.03 to play in the first quarter, no score from Cookville. Levin and Winford on fourth and nine. His first possession came up short. They're going to try here. We'll see if it's close enough. No, Brindley calls timeout. So 3.03 to play in the first quarter. Jim Brindley calls Lebanon's first timeout of the half. I want you to stay tuned to TV 66. This is just the beginning of a big sports day here. Coming up next, the Class A Battle of Wilson County, Friendship Christian versus Watertown. And if you've ever been involved with either of those schools, you know what that rivalry means. For Friendship, a bowl bid is on the line. Should they defeat the Purple Tigers, the Industrial Bowl has been in touch with Coach Terry Arrington and the, cap and the Commanders. That one between the hedges at Watertown. That one coming up right after this game. Then at 1 o'clock, Western Athletic Conference action. Some packed in action for that matter. The Oregon Ducks travel to Provo, Utah to take on the BYU Cougars. Then at 9 o'clock, the Mike Ditka Show as the Chicago Bears snap that three-game losing streak, followed by Redskins Weekly at 9.30. Meanwhile, you see the Lebanon huddle, Mark Medley. As the Blue Devils will try to execute on a fourth and five play. Kevin Huddleston will goes wide to the right. Cyrus Hancock on the right wing. I'm not sure if it's close enough to try to draw him offside and get the first down that way, but I think Brindley's trying it. Run the play. Fake the Haas. Brindley to throw. Complete. First down. Richard Moscardelli out of bounds at the 22. Mike Farrell runs Moscardelli out. Beautiful play action to Haas. Brindley all by himself in the backfield. Spots the tight end and gets the first down. Clay Bueller goes wide to the right. Marcus Stewart in the right slot. Jonathan Haas stuffed immediately. Nathan Vincent, number 77, the first Cavalier to get his paws on Haas. Still about a one yard pickup, just shy of the 20. Entering game number 70. For the Hancock comes in for Stewart. Meanwhile, Cookville also substituting on defense on every play, so apparently they shuttle in defensive plays that way. As Bueller goes wide to the right. Draw to Haas, breaks a tackle, stumbles down to the 14. Good play by Haas. Looked like he was going to be stuffed at the line of scrimmage, but he bounced outside and stumbles his way for about a five-yard pickup. And it'll bring up a third down and two. Inside two minutes to play in the first quarter, still no score. The regular season finale at the second season begins next week. Playoff time. You know that at home, you at home right now know what Lebanon's immediate future is. Draw to Haas, stuffed again. This time he doesn't escape. Bo Lillard on the stop. Johnny Stites bring up fourth down and three. 
That'd be a very slight loss. Haas comes out, Stewart and Hancock stay in. This will be a double wing with one setback. No, let's see. No, now they're gonna, Hancock will be at tailback now. This is one of the, the experiments Mark Medley was uh, doodling with this week. Hancock to the left, cuts back in, breaks some tackles and is inside the, oh, still on his feet, touchdown. A 21-yard run for Cyrus Hancock, and there are any number of places that he should have gone down. So Hancock, his first play from the tailback spot this year, and he runs it like a fullback. Must have broken the tackle of about half the Cavaliers for a 21-yard touchdown run. So now Justin Ushery will be in for the point after. Clay Bueller to hold, Norman Summers with the snap. And doesn't get it up. Blocked at the line of scrimmage, but he just never got that kick up. So with 51 seconds to play in the first quarter, Lebanon has drawn first blood, leading six to nothing. Well, Ussery was telling me last week he had a new pair, new pair of kicking shoes. We're going to prove his height. Well, last week it seemed to have helped, but tonight he might need to get a new pair of shoes. <laughs> 